Hi, my name is Luke Powery. I'm the Dean of Duke Chapel. Welcome to Duke University Chapel, the Great Towering Church. It's my joy to welcome you inside the chapel to see some of the sights of this beautiful building. Beginning in May 2015, the chapel underwent a restoration project to restore the chapel back to its original beauty. So when you look inside or outside at the chapel, it should look like we are back in the 1930s. As you come into Duke Chapel, you can't help but lift up your head and look around. And one of the many sights you will see are the beautiful stained glass windows, which tell the story of the saints and the stories of the Bible. One of the things that you might not recognize when you first enter uh, the chapel building from the back is the beautiful organ, the Flintrop organ, uh, which is, would be above your head in the balcony in the back. It is one of the treasures um, inside Duke Chapel. Well, as we, we walk down this aisle, like so many people have done, I think of the many choirs and generations of choirs that have processed for worship services. I think of all of the, the graduates that have graduated from Duke, that come in here for baccalaureate or convocations, and they're celebrating. I think about the brides, all of the weddings that have happened in this space, and their excitement as they approach the front. And I even remember those who are here coming to take a seat, who are here for a memorial service uh, to remember a loved one uh, who has gone on before them. And so when I walk, I walk in honor of all of those who have walked. This is Memorial Chapel, um, the little side chapel inside Duke Chapel. And it's a memorial chapel because it's here that we remember the Duke family. In particular, three Dukes are laid to rest. Um, Washington Duke, James B. Duke, and Benjamin Duke. And this chapel, side chapel, and also Duke Chapel really stand in their honor um, because Duke Chapel represents their legacy. Well, now we are walking into what is known as the crypt of Duke Chapel. And in the crypt, we have many of the luminaries from the past, former presidents, former dean of the chapel, uh, who are laid to rest here. President Terry Sanford, as an example, President Few, um, also a former dean of the chapel, uh, James Cleland, the longest serving dean of the chapel, is laid to rest here. Many come here to pray, reflect, meditate, and even study. I'm standing behind what some may call the altar. I call it a table. And this is where we preside at communion. We are now going to walk up to the pulpit where I spend a lot of time. <laughs> at every service, this is where I speak. It can be viewed as a daunting task when the whole chapel is filled to 1,500 or 1,600 people, and I'm lifted above the people. So there's a great sense of responsibility and sense of privilege and joy to be able to share what I call the good news. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch, and um, I hope you take um, a longer time to come and see the sights of Duke Chapel and hopefully hear the sounds of Duke Chapel at a later point.